So we're looking at 4.7.1, which is a box made from cutting out one sheet of paper or whatever material it is. And this box is, or the paper here is nine inches wide, five inches tall. And we're cutting out these little corners right here. So we're gonna cut out these rectangular pieces. And what that means is when we fold this together, I drew some dotted lines so we can uh, see how it would fold together. The height of the box, once all these sides are folded up, the height is gonna be X. And then the base of the box right here will be, uh, one dimensional will be nine minus, there's an X and an X, so the width will be nine minus two X. The height used to be five, but it's gonna be five minus two X. And well, I call it the height, that's really the base. And then the height, when we fold the sides up, the height's all gonna be uh, just X. And of course the volume of the box is length times width times height. And we see that right here. And we just multiply those values together. And then on this next step here, I fo uh, foiled it all out and then finally distributed. So this right here is our volume. That's what we want to maximize. And so we're gonna take derivative and set it equal to zero. This question did ask about the domain. Now, normally on a polynomial, your domain's all real numbers. In the context of this word problem, it makes no sense for x to be negative or even zero. So it's gotta be a, a positive number. It's gonna be a positive small number. So it can't exceed, it can't go bigger than half of b because then you'd be cutting out a piece that basically eliminated the height. So it can't go past half of b uh, or half of a, but half of b is five and a half, or five over two, half of a is nine over two, so the limiting uh, number would be half of b, or five over two. Uh, here's, here's what that would look like right here if you got very close to uh, five over two. Okay, so we take derivative. Now the derivative of this function right here, it's just a polynomial, so it's not so bad. Let's use the, the uh, power rule there a couple times on each of the terms. You set it equal to zero, and you're gonna get this quadratic right here that equals zero. And I went with the quadratic formula and got two answers that were not so pretty right here. And now the question is, which one do you choose? So what I did is I turned them into decimals. Uh, now, if one of these two was negative, I would immediately throw that one away. Neither of these turned out to be negative. I needed to use a calculator for that, so I just estimated the square root of 976 was about 31. And then when I thought about 31 in here, both of them turned out to be positive, so they're both reasonable, except that this one that's uh, 56 plus the square root of 976 over 24 is 3.635, and that's too big. Uh, I think two and a half was the maximum that could be, so this one was too big, so we're gonna use the other one which is uh, right here, it's close to 1.03. And when I answered the question, I used this x value right here. And when I plugged it back in, you wanna do v of that number. And once I plugged it in, this is the uh, answer that I typed in. So hopefully that will uh, work for you too.